In this video, we're going to talk about the hip seat cut, the area down here, especially when you have a larger sized hip like we have here. We have a 2x10 for our hip and 2x6 for our roof rafters. And for some of you who have watched the videos for a while, it's not uncommon to find a hip that needs to be reshaped to where we have a long section like this that will not be bearing on the framing plates. And someone was asking if there was anything else you could do about that. And in reality, if you're going to have ceiling joists, then it will be difficult to raise the height of the wall. Because if you raise the height of the wall, you're going to need to attach a ledger to the wall with hangers or use larger roof rafters. For example, if I was going to use 2x10 roof rafters and a 2x10 hip, this section of the hip wouldn't be this long. So I'm not about to suggest that there aren't any options if you want to reduce the length of the area here that could create structural problems. You're going to end up with a structural problem if it was to split in this section here or the area that is not structurally supported by a wall or a beam. You could end up with some major structural damage. So when you're dealing with conventional lumber like this, you are going to have a few options. But that's not going to be the case if you have a large glue lamp beam or something that is going to require full bearing and not a huge notch cut out of it that will be unsupported. And the first thing I would like to suggest to you is that you contact the structural engineer and have them provide you with a fix. It's not your job to figure out how to cut this stuff and you do not want to be responsible for making a mistake. So here's what happened on this job. I asked the owner, they were building a spec home here. I asked the owner before they poured the concrete and asked a few more times before we finally got down to actually stopping the job and the owner didn't want to do that. So he went ahead and approved the examples that I will provide you with in this video. And that will be lowering the hip and not hack away at the bottom. And if you could only imagine what type of a mistake this would have been if I would have had to have done this in the same way I did it in the first section of the video. After this was done, everybody was happy or at least nobody mentioned it ever again. And for all of you engineers and architects out there who deliberately delay decisions like this because you don't want to make them, then all I can say is in this case, it worked again. Nice one. And trust me, there are plenty of reasons why the engineer and the architect aren't going to make these decisions. And one of them is the fact that they don't know how to fix them. So here you go right here. If this works for you, here's another way you can use to solve this problem if it's actually something that would actually calc out and work. So here we have a flat ceiling with a section of the hip extending into the corner here and the owner simply drywalled around it and that was the end of that. And even though I made fun of the engineers and architects in this video, make sure that you check with the job site engineer, architect, local building authorities, or anyone else who would be involved in making a decision like this to verify whether or not you can use this on your construction project.